All right, y'all, what the heck is going on? Your boy is back on the grind one more time. Your boy is back at it again, y'all, and it is the 23rd. Damn, got stuff falling back there, but it is the 23rd, and my favorite number. Whoop, whoop. So it's Christmas Eve, Eve, and I'm over at the uh, in-law's house, my, uh, my wife's parents' house, and we get four days off, y'all, four days off of doing absolutely nothing <laughs> nothing at all but i gotta make this portion of the trip quick because i have nobody in here with me the little one's not here or anything the in-laws are gracious enough for me well her dad because her and her mom are going uh christmas shopping her dad was nice enough to watch the little one for me while he's napping right now so i'm gonna try to make this quick go down to my storage unit and uh, start my caprice I won't be able to get time to start the K5. Uh, I have two storage units right next to each other. I won't have time to start the K5, but that's okay. And then we'll come back and call it good. Anyways, y'all, I'm just gonna go there and I need to also change the condensation catchers. If you guys have been following me for a while, you guys already know that I use these uh, damp rid condensation catchers in my storage units because condensation can build up in there and it catches all well, most of the condensation so stuff doesn't get wet. I'll show you guys that too as well. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna start the Caprice and back it out, let it breathe a little, little bit. Then there's some stuff in the back that I have to uh, drop off into storage and then we'll be heading back. So it's gonna be a quick trip, but <laughs> my wife's dad is the king. And you guys might have dads and or uncles or you know, family members or friends like this as well too, man. But my, my wife's dad is like the king of finding stuff on the side of the road and either one, keeping it for some use if, it, if he can use it, or two, turning it in for some money. So whether if it could be recycled or he knows somebody that buys this kind of stuff or whatever, it's so crazy. For example, like, you know, like I just saw a front bumper clip on the side of the road just now. He would probably go look at it and expect it and see, oh, can I get some money for this? <laughs> Last night he was telling me about some semi-tires that were off to the side of the road. I don't know if like part of the axle broke off or the bearing and it popped off the wheel or something, I don't know. He said he went out there and looked at it and he says, man, I could get 150 bucks for each of these. <laughs> he was all excited telling me about it. It's on my way to uh, my storage unit, so I'm gonna go take a look at it for him, see if we can pull this from the rubbish and get it in the back of his truck or trailer. So we'll see. So it might even take my wife, me, and him. He has a bum shoulder and a bum knee, so he can't, you know, do a lot of this stuff on his own anyway. It's probably gonna take two to three people anyway to get this up. So I'm gonna go, gonna go look at it and see what he's talking about and see if it's even achievable. See where it's at, first of all, how far off on the freeway it is. I don't know how he spotted it, but he has an eye for this kind of thing. Anyways, I'm gonna go pull off on the side of the road. I'm actually popping up here to take a look at it. I don't know, I got my house shoes on. I don't know how far I wanna be walking in the shrubs and stuff like that, especially if it's wet and soggy. We'll see, I'll go take a look at it. Maybe I'll try to give it a tug or something to see how heavy it actually is. Actually rolling up on it right now. Let me try to locate this real quick and I'll uh, chime back in here in a moment. Oh, actually, I see it right there. Let me flip this camera around. So there it is, y'all, right there. How in the heck did he look over to the side and see this? I have zero idea. <laughs> but let's go ahead and walk over there and see what this thing is all about. All right, y'all, this guy got me out here on some freaking cross-country road adventures. Hopefully there ain't no snakes out here. Oh, that's not too bad. Huh. How the heck did he spot this thing? I guess he said he can get... Make sure there are no creatures down there. Like 150 bucks for each tire? Oh shit, you, nah man. I tried to lift out, <laughs> ain't no lift in this thing. It's gonna take a few people. Well that's it, let me take a picture of it real quick. 
Man, how in the heck did he spot this thing? On the side of the freeway. <laughs> Man, that shit's heavy. Excuse my language. But I legit tried to pick it up. That thing ain't, that thing is not moving, y'all. Watch. <laughs> Let me get out of here, y'all. Man. All right, y'all, so I'm here at my storage unit. Uh, my truck's over there in one of those storage units. So I already went in and put up the damn grids up there. These are what I use. These little condensation catchers here. Uh, and you can see how full that one is. I mean, they're all full. It's probably since I, I first initially stored them in the spring, well, end of the spring, beginning of fall. And so they're already that full. Now, with it being colder, they actually get fuller a lot faster. So I usually put one inside of the engine bay and I totally just didn't think about it because you can see on the engine bay condensation will settle on some of these aluminum parts. That usually just wipes right up, uh, especially if I catch it early enough, I can go ahead and, and set one in there. But usually I just set, you know, something across here like a rod or something I have laying around here then I just hang them right in the center and it catches all the condensation uh, inside of there. So no big deal. Uh, before when I wasn't doing it, I would start it and I would drive it around then I would bring it back in and store it with the hood closed just because, you know, I don't know if there's critters in here or mice or whatever. I've never seen any remnants of mice, maybe every so often, but they do a pretty good job of, of maintaining so creatures don't get in here. But anyways, long story short, when I would come back to start it, let's say a month later, the whole engine would be wet. And I think it was because of the heat and then the cold and then the condensation would settle and they would just stay there, it would never dry because it's so cold. I started to leave the engine propped open and I started putting those uh, dampers in there. Only got three, so what I usually do is I also put one inside of the car, which is, you can see it's pretty much dang near full. I'll need more, so the next time we come down, whenever that'll be, I don't know. I'll probably just put one over here, one over there, and that one still might have a little life in it. Maybe I can ride it out a little longer, but that's pretty full. But I'd like to put one under the hood if I can. Maybe what I'll do is I'll swap that one and put it under here and catch as much as it can. And then that way I have two fresh ones out here and then I'll put one in the car because I don't want the inside of the car getting wet now it won't get too damp in there but you know i guess i could just probably just leave that one in there and that way the other one can act as a catcher for the hood and then still be in the storage unit as well too so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to back this thing up and we'll get you a cold start after like two months
God dang it, man. It's always something with these old schools, man. I'm telling you. This freaking gas tank is leaking. I haven't even driven the damn car. Maybe you guys can see the drips. It's leaking like right under there. And I don't know, it's probably leaking while it's running. Maybe because pressure's built up right now, it's still leaking because obviously with it sitting, it didn't really leak. I didn't see this until the car started running. Got a big pile of it here, so I don't know why it's on this side and then now it's leaking on the other side. So what I just showed you was the left side of the tank. This is actually from the right side of the tank, so maybe it was dripping or something along the tank, like running along the tank and then dripping on this side. First I thought it was oil because of the color. Then it smelled like gas. I'm like, well, why would there be oil mixed with gas? And then I saw this trail. So obviously it was leaking. Freaking looked under the car on this side and there was nothing. So then I'm like, hmm. Then I saw it dripping on that side. And I'm like, dang. It is always something, especially with this car. Sorry, y'all, had you guys zoomed in, but especially with this car, I don't, I don't get it. This car just, it's like my best running car. I swear, every time it sits over the winter, something happens, it's just random, like it gets a flat tire, or you know, something else happens, or whatever. But. <laughs> Well, you know what the funny thing is, y'all? And this might have been a sign. I was going to replace the tank on my Chevelle anyway and get like a fuel injection tank, something a little bit nicer because if you guys have been following me for a while, I did a B-body gas tank swap on that car. And supposedly those tanks from like a Bubble Caprice or Paula SS, those tanks actually fit in these no problem for the most part from what I've heard. And being that it's fuel injected, it's a fuel injected tank, I could use it on this. My thought was to get a, uh, is it Tanks Inc or it might've been Tanks Inc tank and put it in my Chevelle and then take that one out and put it in this one. So that way I have a legit fuel injection tank because this is still the stock tank. I'm just using a Grand National sending unit on it. The only problem is with it, it doesn't have a baffle. I'm gonna have to investigate and look, maybe there's a line that's compromised. Maybe it's loose. I don't actually have fuel well, I have fuel injection clamps on it, but they're not, they're just hoses over lines. They're not uh, the AN style. So, uh, well, I think a couple of them are, but some aren't because I tapped into the original hose lines on a lot of this. I might just have to go ahead and do that swap, man. If it's not one thing, it's a damn another. I swear, man, I swear. Anyways, y'all, it looks like uh, that might be in the works here soon. So. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to have to investigate. I can't do it right now because I got to get back to my little one. But let me go ahead. I just kind of killed the video, you guys, man. Let me go ahead and finish what I'm doing here. This set me back a little bit because I'm supposed to be back the in-laws house for the little one. So let me go ahead and set up these damn fridge. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and pull that thing right back in and kind of go from there. So anyways, y'all, I'll chime back in later. If you're new to the channel, definitely about subscribing, y'all. Hit the notification bell, all that good stuff, y'all. Mr. Grim23, out. Deuces. Stay tuned. We'll see what's up with this. You probably won't even see this thing until next spring anyway. Now I'm just, I'm over it. <laughs> all right, y'all. I'll holla at you.